thing about Duke fans, man, they're going to support you. They're going to love you. And they're not just basketball fans. They're everything fans. Just supporting the school. Want to see the school do good, man, just like I do. But just stick with us. It's going to be a special year. Keep supporting us. Stay with us. And it's going to be a great year. Look at the highlights. I'm in the spotlight. Hey, that cause I ball like. I'm in the prime like. Jay, blue double, I'm different. On fire, ain't missing. This is Jason Tatum, and you're watching Duke Blue Plan. We at the Duke hype shoot. Here with my boy. You know what I'm saying? You know where we at. We, we, had, we got steam going. Oh my God. It's our Turn first hype the shoot. They're <laughs> not even. I don't know any other school is doing this. I'm really tired, but. Uh, Dedicated to the. To yeah. the grind to y'all, man. This, we're doing this for y'all. We're doing this for y'all. We out here late. We got practice tomorrow. We out here getting these clips yeah. for y'all. Yeah, you're going to see us look real serious. Real serious. and be like. Back at it again. You know, each year elevates. Man. See that? They're not doing it in front of the chapel like us. They're not doing it like that. Mark, they're not doing it like that. Nah, it's something new. Nobody else got it like this. Nobody got that chapel. Yo, what up, Duke fans? Out here at the chapel, shooting the hype shoot right now. Uh, very excited for the season. Got a great group of guys. What up, Duke Nation? Just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into what we're doing tonight. As you can see, I got my Duke Letterman jacket on, and we're just doing some filming for the hype shoot. Uh, it's gonna be big time, just wait and see. But, uh, you know, I got a little behind the scenes action, a little personal side, and then I'm gonna get in the nice little uniform and, you know, take some nice videos, just like Jan is doing over there. Special time doing this photo shoot at the chapel. It's one of the most iconic places on campus. Uh, amazing memories, walking by on campus. And, you know, you go in the chapel, it's one of the most beautiful places there is, period. So it's a special night doing it here. Tell me these are not fresh. I don't really wear clothes in games, but for photo shoots, they look fire. So Flip's got on my shoes right now. No, I don't. No, this, no, these are my fine. shoes. Those are not your shoes. These are my shoes. And then shoes. you see I had the backup hair ready. These are my, these I had the shoes. backup hair ready. I don't know what he's talking that's about. That's him. <laughs> you ain't even gonna tell me that? <laughs> no. I didn't know you were coming after me. No, that's insane. <laughs> if, if I, I would ask for your permission. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> after, I gave you shoes for the other photo shoot too. Like, I'm really a shoe plug out here for a <laughs> You are, you that's are. What's happening. Hey, that's as why, long as we get it on camera though, that's why that's I'm why. That's why it's great to have, have a brother I'm good. wearing the same shoe size. You want to wear these? You want to wear my shoes? Your shoes? All right. I got receipts, but I got receipts, but those, those look fine on you. Though. Yeah, no. Kyle likes to lie about his shoe game, but y'all don't know. Thanks. So. Whoa. Appreciate it, Mark. <laughs> Appreciate it, Mark. These are mine. These are mine. Why are you talking crazy about your shoes? Give me my shoes. That's your crazy. shoes. All right, now we now we trying to scuff them and stuff. You see who the real kicks champion is, though. That is true. He do got some heat on his feet right now. And we got crazy. over here. He got the ones on. Oh that's my. not even bad feet. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Feet. Feet. He just, that's not he just even bad. Like a little dad right now, for real. I'm not looking like a dad. This is my pregame. You are looking like a dad, bro. See, Reeves I'm actually kidding. might have the most basketball shoes on the team besides Jeremy. It's because he's been buying them since he's But he grade. he wears like two since pairs. Seventeen since third grade. That is true. Yeah. Even though he wears two pairs of shoes. But it's all right. Got a little switcheroo. Got the jersey back on. 25. Feels good to have the jersey back on. I wear 25 because Jordan was 23, Kobe was 24. Like when I was younger, like no one's been 25. So I was like, shoot, I gotta be 25. Now. I'm here with the Young Bulls. What's good, Duke? Sean right here. Mm -hmm. TJ, say what's up to the camera, bro. What's up, Duke? Yo. Say what's up to the camera. Hey, what's up, Duke Blue Planet? <laughs> and y'all's favorite person in the world. <laughs> what's good, Duke? You know what I'm saying? This is Kyle Filipowski. We're on set for the hype shoot, Bright Lights, Big Stage. You're watching Duke Blue Planet. Well, of course, it's always fun to be back on campus and uh, to be here in Cameron to see the, the, the team this upcoming season. I'm really, really excited, uh, as others who've come back, members of the Brotherhood. And so um, it's like being home and, uh, and seeing our, our, our younger siblings. Uh, do their thing and so uh, but a lot of fun a lot of excitement uh, a lot of uh, expectations this season and uh, I have high hopes for this this ball club they're going to be good I just need the effort please that's what you need yes, everybody sir. get on that yes, sir. Yeah. 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 get that blind devil out here bro yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, 
I've seen people like my size do it. Like, what'd you get? 577? No, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh. What are we betting against you, boss? What are we betting against? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to have like 45, 46. <laughs> <45 laughs> I'm gonna get like a 22, 24. Yeah. Come back to my clip. Hey, Sean, let's make that bet. I'm gonna get my five coming. It'll be my regular. Who's getting five coming? 55 coming. You're not gonna get five. I just need 40. All I need is 40. 42. What's up guys, it's Sean Stewart here. We're at the Boys and Girls Club of Durham. Me and Tyrese, about to give out some backpacks to the kids. It's about to be a good time. Yeah, so me and Sean uh, headed out and went to the Boys and Girls Club and uh, you know, just toured the facility, had a look around all the classrooms and, and met a bunch of the kids there. And then uh, we were able to give back and, and um, give them some back to school supplies, uh, which was really fun. Um, Sean's mom came along, my mom and, and my sister were there as well. So, you know, just all of us together were, were um, just helping, giving back to the community here in Durham. You know, we have a big platform here at Duke, and it just means so much to me to be able to um, use my platform to give back to the younger generation, to the community, people in need. It just makes me feel really good, you know, that I can give back. Be able to be in the position I am now and be able to give back and kids looking up to me as a role model, it means the world to me. Uh, I love giving back. I feel like it's, you know, with my platform and, and the magnitude of how big Duke is and stuff like that, I feel like it's really important to give back. Um, so I try and give back, you know, as much as I can. And, and I went to the hospital a couple of times and, and um, just met a lot of the kids there that were struggling and going through a, a rough time in their life. I had a surprise one of my boys, Walker. I met him last last week, last week, and just got some toys, um, some dinosaurs and Legos, and he's been in here, so I think he gets out at one o'clock today. So just about to surprise him. It was good to just you know bring a smile to their faces, and and you know it brings joy to me and my day. Um, so I just feel like it's really important, you know, growing up, I idolized a lot of people, and you know I, when I got to meet them, it brought a lot of happiness to my life at the time. So I feel like it, you know, I I'm in the position where I can do the same thing, and and giving back is just one of them. I enjoy having my family there with me. Um, just a you know, just a different experience for them as well. Not not really doing anything like that before, but I think my sister really enjoyed it. Just you know, just being around the American kids and, and um, getting a feel for all of them and and giving back um, to them as well. So I think you know she loves loves doing it as well. And my mom's worked in schools um, back home her, her whole life. You know, been a principal, been a teacher, um, and still is so. You know, she's always giving back to her community back home and, and doing as much as she can to, to help the kids uh, live a better life. So I think she really enjoyed it as well. You know, it's been a while since I've seen her, since I got here. So for her to come and help out um, with the community, it made me really happy. And, um, it was great to see her. It means a lot because, you know, it's good to have somebody that has shared interests with you, um, you know, within the community, helping out. So to have Tyrese there, it really meant a lot. And, you know, to have his family there and my family, and we all came together to help for a greater cause. It was it was really fun, and it was really I was really happy that we were able to do that together. It's kind of crazy and surreal, but it's um you know something I've been working for my whole life, and I'm just blessed to have the opportunity to be able to be in that position and, and give back to those kids. Are you still living the dream? Always. All right, good. Always. Big thing for you, and again, we're starting day one. You're going to be able to create off the bounce and after you catch. You're, still, you're not ready enough before you catch. I want you really hunting your shots, and it's going to set up the rest of your game. You're, one of the things you've done the best, you haven't done the best since you've been here. Yeah. Agreed? Yeah, for sure. 
And it's because you can do other things and your mind hasn't been on that. It's not about preparation or anything. It's about in the, in the game or in the practice, just being wired, ready to shoot. Like don't be, don't be passing up shots. What you do. So don't, don't pass up any. If you do, I'm gonna make sure you know about it. You got me? All right, let's get after it. Let's do it. I just want all you guys to know how excited I am, but also our entire staff is to get going. Like this is the day, like our season's here. It's not anymore talking about the future. First practice, like we're off and running. We gotta be a player-led team. Name the three of you guys captains on Friday. It can't be us inserting the passion that we need to or the hunger. It's gotta be you guys. You guys make this year what you wanna make it. Don't wait on us. You guys make it the way that you wanna make it, all right? And then we went over our values. We went over offense and defense, all right? You guys should know them. But just keep learning the game. Timing of when to pass. Reads depending on how the pick, the pick and roll is being defended. We're gonna work on skills and shooting and all this that's important that we need to work on. A lot of this comes down to being at your best when your best is required. End of the day, we gotta put ourselves in a position where when our best is required, we're gonna put our best foot forward. All right, we got it? Let's have a great one. Let's go, come on. A lot of energy today, all right? Together on three, one, two, three, together. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, what I want, yo, so the first 45, 50 minutes is all defense. Stay down, body, body, rebound, rebound. Good. Come on, E, come on, E. No straight line, E. You got Sean? Come on, man, keep fighting, let's go. Fight, you gotta fight. The third one was really good, what can you add? Add your voice, add your voice. If you're talking to the ball, this is gonna put you in position, you go make a play on it. Make sense? Jaden picked it up, and his left foot's his pivot foot too. So lean on that side even more, it takes away his vision, but also, if he goes to shoot, you see what I'm saying? Be on it. Can't get that deep. Body, body, stay down, stay down. Good. Get your chest into his. Get your chest into his. There you go, good, Caleb, good. That's much better, that's much better. Caleb, way to go. Let's keep building. Go, where you go, where you go, go. You should be in the gap. We gotta cover one pass away. The effort's good, effort's good. Just finish that, finish that off. Same way. Get there, get there, get there. Go, good. Flip it around one more time. Blue in, blue in, let's go, blue in. Let's go, one time. Well, catch it ready. So then where, where you don't all of a sudden turn on and off your habits, you know what I'm saying? Impact, impact, control, good, good. So we stopped them, we did a good job right away. Now you gotta impact them, Flip. Now you're soft on the ball, you're right here. You gotta impact, you gotta guard them. All I saw is down there, Coach Carroll's working on what? Post defense, right? Ryan rolls, easy catch right behind right away. So initial defense is good, we gotta play it all the way through now. Put it all together, blue, same way. Yo, this is why we're doing it. Well, this is exactly why we're doing it. So learn and then go to the next play, all right? Yeah. Two of you guys, you gotta do a job, better job stopping the ball. If he gets downhill, we're, all, we're done. We're done right here. Stop the ball, impact the ball, I'll, I'll be on the three. Catch your face though, catch your face, catch your face. Catch your face, eyes on the rim. Finish. We gotta go, we gotta go, come on, we gotta go. Finish, good, finish, finish. Give me that, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, Jalen. Come on, Jalen, let's go. Let's go. Good, finish, finish, finish. Good, there you go, good. Couple, uh, couple things for me. One, like I said throughout, I thought our effort was really good. We gotta work on all this, so embrace it. I don't care if you've been here, Jeremy, for four years, or Reese, you're back again, and Ryan. We gotta embrace everything we're doing because it's gonna translate to the game, all right? We're a long way away from knowing how to play together. Like there's too much dribbling right now. There's too much where we're not getting each other open with screening off the ball, moving off the ball. Talk was great, energy was great. We gotta keep going and come back tomorrow ready for another one like this. All right, we got it? Okay, let's go, bring it in, let's go. Ready to go. We on three, family on six, one, two, three. Dude, family. Brotherhood Podcast uh, originally started as a way to 
provide fans with a unique uh, and, and inside perspective onto some of the personal lives of uh, the guys in the team and their backgrounds. Uh, it was a fun little thing to do in the off season as a way to kind of provide more perspective in the program for our fans. We're not playing games and we're not you know, able to able to showcase uh, some of what we're doing in the off season with with guys being in different places. Oh, they booed us at the comedy yeah. show. The yeah. comedy, there was a, a bunch of people in there. The people on stage, they're like, and do basketball in the house, everybody, everybody cheer for it. They're like, boo! Like, we we boo. love that. And and like, yeah, love no, like, we that, love that. That just that fueled us, yeah. though. Like, I like, I'd rather say. that than them be cheering. Exactly. Like, we wrote that, we wrote that down in our journal. Yeah, well, I wrote right. that down in my journal. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't want to be comfortable. No. It I made us ever. Made us, yeah. I want to be against the odds. I just kind of molded into, um, you know, interviewing coaches and former players in the brotherhood. You know, if it was present day, I probably never would have played with Christian Lee. And I never would have played with, with Bobby Hurley. Uh, that experience and, and those years where people got a chance to watch us over multiple years, I think contributed to the you know, hysteria, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, doing unique and um, different kinds of podcasts where we're talking about you know, what's going on in practice this past week or delving more into um, you know, former players. The best rapper that I had here, um, arguably one of the best rappers I've heard to pick up a pen that played basketball was Marvin Mack. Freestyle off the top, like I played a beat for like 30 seconds and I'm ready to go. You know, our main goal is to be able to give back to our fans and provide them with, you know, the stuff they love, which is more information and more perspective and insight into the program. A big thing, obviously, with the, with the changing landscape of college basketball is user engagement. Uh, social media drives a lot of engagement and a lot of stuff that you can do off the court. And we always have these meetings here with our creative team about you know, how you can drive more user engagement yourself. And uh, a lot of our young guys uh, take the TikTok route. And I knew that um, that really wasn't for me and who I am. I Maybe we play. should all send in some videos to Ryan or some, some dance moves you would like to see him do and he can study it. And how about, how does that sound? Yeah, I'll do, okay. I'll do my right. homework. I'll do okay. the study. <laughs> it's, it's about doing, it's about performing when the lights come on. That's right. Is, it's a different beast. Give the people what they want. That's all I'm saying. Give the people what they want. Uh, and honestly, I took a little bit of inspiration um, from this past uh, March Madness run in Orlando. Um, I did a thing with our creative team uh, where I was interviewing guys in the locker room as a, as a fake reporter. And it was, it was a joke, but I actually had a ton of fun doing it and kind of realized that I thought that I could utilize that as a way to you know, help drive my own user engagement in a way. It's been fun to be a guy that can help tell stories uh, that I think are worth telling and help, you know, interview people and learn more about uh, others, especially, you know, not only just the people directly around me, but, you know, the various members of the Brotherhood we've come, we've had come back. One of the things I'm passionate about is, is being curious uh, and, and learning, you know, hearing people tell their stories is just something personally uh, I'm really interested in. No, definitely. I had so much fun on the podcast with Ryan. Uh, we had a great conversation. Uh, he embarrassed me a little bit. I didn't know the lyrics to my wife's song, um, but no, definitely uh, we had a good time and uh, I'm a big fan of the podcast. So to, to be on it was, was a great pleasure and uh, uh, I'm glad they got the old guys represented uh, as well as the, as the new. I uh, would love for you all to, to watch our most recent episode. Uh, we'll have it right here uh, with a link for you all to watch. Go crazy. Hey. Go crazy. Let's go do. Go crazy. Let's go do. Go crazy. Let's go do. Go crazy.